Miranda rights to this guy? Are we going to try him in a court of law like everybody else? Are we going to treat him like if you were the one who was arrested doing this? I don't think so. This guy's a terrorist. They want to kill Americans on our streets. I have a daughter living in New York City. Well, she didn't even know about it, did she? I don't think she listens to the news anymore. But anyway, but I mean, it's frightening. It's frightening. And if you're living in a big city and you have kids in a big city or relatives or family in a, in a big city, they're really under attack under the microscope. And the best thing I can say is President Bush always said when he was trying to react to 9-11 that the one thing as citizens we have got to do is be vigilant. Remember he kept saying that? And it kind of got poo-pooed and people thought, well, that's a weak response to terrorism. But he kept saying, I can put TSA agents and, and Border Patrol and air marshals and create a Homeland Security Department, but it's still on every single American shoulder to be vigilant. And who found that car that was smoking? It was the t-shirt vendor in Times Square because he was an American citizen who was vigilant. And so I think that sort of, it made me feel good because I thought he didn't just turn his head, he didn't go the other way, he did exactly what we all should do as American citizens. So with that, I join with you all tonight to celebrate a wonderful occasion. I wish I had Wood County in my district. Uh, no offense to anybody who does, but it's a good county. It's got a lot of good uh, seeds of Republicanism here. And uh, I think it's, uh, those are just seeds that I think are just going to continue to grow under the leadership here. So thank you for having me and my boys here tonight. And it's been a wonderful to share the evening with you. And thank you. Go. Go. bill was passed. I was asked to come and speak to WTAP. And one of the questions asked me was, you know, isn't there something in this health care bill, I'm a Republican, that he knew full well it wasn't, wasn't there something in this health care bill that I could say was good? And I looked at him and I said, well, first I want somebody to tell me why there was such a rush to judgment. You know, what was the big, I know why, but what was the big rush that we, you know, I think everybody will say we need health care reform, but not in this manner. And the second thing I said to him, and I said, you yeah, know, I don't remember giving up my choice. He looked at me and goes, what do you mean? And I said, well, did you give up your right to choose your doctor? He goes, no. And I said, well, yeah, you did. And I think that's the big thing is the realization that as this administration, and they're doing it in a very blatant way, and they will tell you it's for our own good. And uh, I so appreciate your words tonight regarding all of this, and I want to thank you. Before um, I have uh, Senator Frank Dean to come to do the benediction, I have a, a great lot of members of the Wood County Republican Executive Committee. And tonight, and I would like them to stand, the Reagan Day Dinner Committee uh, went above and beyond what they needed to do to make you all feel at home. Their chair was Catherine Smeary. Angela Summers was on the committee. Angela, please stand. Rich Schaefer. David Lake. Ed Long, Amy Snodgrass, and Rick Modisett. I'd like y'all to give them a round of applause. <laughs> it's been great having you all here this evening. Um, I love it when we have good people. What are you doing, Rick? <laughs> Uh, the committee uh, asked me to hijack the meeting at this point uh, for a little presentation. 
And uh, all the Republican faithful know we're going through the election process. We have wonderful candidates in the county running. We have wonderful candidates in the district running. We also have executive committee uh, representatives throughout uh, Wood County running. And our chair has done a wonderful job for the last four years, Bev Lockhart. And uh, being a chair of a, a, an executive committee is not an easy task. Uh, there are good days, there are worse days, there are bad days. Uh, there are days where you have to uh, uh, settle internal squabbles. There are, ha there are days you have to go to bat for the party in the, uh, the media. Uh, there are days that she calls uh, candidates and elected officials to the, uh, the principal's office for uh, little discussions. And uh, she's done a wonderful job. She's had trials and tribulations as we all do in life. And, uh, but we have a lot of respect for Bev and all the work she's tried to do for us for the last four years. Uh, very soon, we will be electing new executive committee members and uh, we will have a new chair. Bev is retiring. And the, uh, your friends of the executive committee asked me to present this gift to you uh, for your service for the last four years and give you the official county hug. Virginia Federation of Republican Women. Um, we held our first spring board meeting. And I just want to build our party. I want to see it grow. And I'm going to cry. <laughs> Jeez. Forgive me, indelicate. <laughs> and she was showing me a bracelet, I believe your son and Dollar and Law got her. And I said, Oh, that is so pretty. And I was commenting on it. And if any, what are, it's like, what are they, troll beads? Yeah. Oh, golly, guys. <laughs> Thank you so very much. From the bottom of my heart. Frank, get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> 